What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Dream Car Racing 3D and uh, I'm really excited about this game because this game is, is sort of like BeamNG.Drive where it's got that soft body vehicle physics and those vehicle collisions and all the destruction and all that. You can do all sorts of crazy stuff and uh, you can make these crazy awesome vehicles and uh, I haven't really played too much with it. I've played for a couple hours just to figure out how to actually build a vehicle and get a vehicle that can actually turn and see what you guys think because uh, I'm a big fan of it and if you guys want to see more of this that would be awesome so just you know hit that like button if you want to see more of this because I think I think this game's got great potential and uh, there's a whole campaign mode I haven't even touched yet so I have, I have no idea what's going on there. We've basically got this wireframe sort of car here you can see and uh, basically you can you can manipulate all the points here you know and you can move them around and it, it automatically has a symmetry mode enabled which is really kind of nice um i believe you can disable that as well but you know you can move your points around and uh and make a vehicle that way and you've got different types of struts here so most of these are just structural you can see here it's just solid in the bottom but uh then you've got also these transmissions which uh allow the motor wheels to turn and you have to basically build a vehicle that has a seat and an engine and uh four wheels and everything's customizable i mean you can make the wheel pressure you can adjust the wheel pressure you can adjust the wheel size you can do absolutely everything you know you spawn on this nice little world and we can we can just drive around here and we can uh go up here and go oh, pull some donuts and you can see there every, every, all the pistons actually have to steer it so the way this this starter vehicle is set up by the oh crap oh it was so close bouncing along and broke the tires so the deformations are pretty extreme in this game uh, I, I find beam ng is a little bit more forgiving now that being said you can adjust the hardness of everything so these are all just wires at default values but you could go and adjust it and uh, and you could make it actually a little bit more stiff so it doesn't do that you can also turn deformations off completely but i prefer to play with them on because i think it just it makes making a vehicle that much more difficult now we're in some dunes here you know when you're in the dunes you got to have a dune buggy so this is actually the the vehicle that i made um i absolutely love it it took way too long that's why i didn't oh it snapped the back tire it took way too long to do, uh, mainly to figure out how to make the thing steer properly with steering and uh, have all the suspension there to make it really quite tough. But it's uh, overall, I'm really happy with the way it drives. It's, it's kind of like a dragster almost, but I, I call it a dune buggy. I think we can safely say it's, it's more of a dragster. So we're just gonna go over here now. Oh crap, oh, oh, those wheels. All right, so clearly the back wheels need a little bit more work. So we're gonna go into the garage and we're gonna adjust some stuff. So this is a, this is a, uh, what is this? This is, is this, oh, that's the wheel itself. Okay, so the wheel has just radius width, engine power, 25, sure, max engine power. Um, this is a solid piece. So we're gonna increase the strength of that and it should automatically do it to both sides and it, it does that's quite nice the game is completely customizable it's absolutely insane it's it's really there's so much stuff so oh yeah that automatically got synced so that's good um i believe these struts need to be reinforced a bit so we're just gonna go um deform you know what we are gonna go minimal deform on those struts just to help keep that section nice and secure where the wheels are anchored and uh, I think we're good to go now. It should drive a little better. Oh no, it still tilts forward pretty aggressively. It needs a lot more weight in the back. Well, you're gonna have to tune that a little bit more and get back to it a little bit later, but uh, overall, oh crap, oh crap. Oh crap. Where's that thing go? Oh no, those back wheels. Still good, we're still good. Oh goodness me. Oh god. Alright, we can do it, we can do it. Well, the frame is at least pretty, pretty durable. Oh. Oh crap. 
Now there's other worlds too. There's actually well, there's only one other world right now, but we're gonna we're gonna go spawn on that just because it's pretty awesome. There is workshop support already, which is kind of cool. Um, it's really nice. So I'm probably gonna check out a few of the workshop creations that people have made, mainly because you know I'm gonna take forever to try and build stuff. This this build here just took me a while. So we're gonna go to the crash test site map. That's this is a, another pretty cool map here. And it's it's really good I find just because it's nice and flat and it's also got this huge ramp So you actually get to customize everything like you can choose. Oh crap You can choose which wheels have the handbrakes which wheels get the drive So this is actually four-wheel drive There's a transmission that goes up through the front and into the two front wheels as well as the two back ones You can see there the transmission spinning and uh, overall, it's pretty good, and all four wheels have handbrakes, so, you know, if you hit the handbrake, you can kind of almost drift the car. Oh, no, you can roll the car. If you hold B, that shows you the deformation. See, those back struts just suck. Alright, so, right off the bat, it hurts. It just is not even strong enough to handle its own weight. Oh, that's... Oh, just bent that... Oh, goodness. Oh, God. I love how the guy is just sitting there like, yeah, it's all good, man. We'll just, look, the car still drives. Come on, let's go. Get grip. Get grip. It's perfectly white, which means it's not deformed at all. And as soon as you start to go, like, green, I think is okay. And then yellow means, like, it's actually bent. And red means you're basically screwed. But it accelerates fine. But as soon as you turn, it hurts itself. So if you want to see more of this, make sure you hit that like button down below. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, let me know what you want to build. If you don't like this game, that's fine. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, we're not going to leave before we do one giant last jump off this huge, massive ramp. Are we good? We got some deformations. It doesn't have that much power. The engine's set at max, too. It needs more engines. And... Oh, goodness me. Oh... The guy, the guy is, the guy is below the map. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all next time.